Let's do problem number 27. If z varies directly as x and inversely as y, then it says, and z equals 4 when x equals 2 and y equals 3, find x when z equals 9 and y equals 2. Wow, so, so much to read. So the way to do these problems is just read one piece at a time. So recall if it says directly, if y varies directly as x, that means y equals kx. And if it says y varies inversely as x, that means y equals k over x. So in this problem it says z varies directly as x, so that means z equals kx, and inversely as y, so that means you divide by y. So that's the first step. Again, z varies directly as x, that gives you the kx, and then inversely as y means you divide by y. The second step is to find k. So it says, and z equals 4 when x equals 2 and y equals 3. So z is 4, k is k, we have to find it, x is 2, and y is 3. Looks like we're going to get uh, some fractions. So to solve for k, we multiply by the reciprocal, so 3 over 2, and then 3 over 2. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, with no fractions, right? Because 2 goes into 4 um, twice, 3 times 2 is 6, so k is equal to 6. So now that we have k, we plug it back into our formula. So z equals 6x over y. All right, step three is to find the answer. So step three, I'll write the formula down again. So z equals 6x over y. And let's see what it says. It says find x. Oh, we have to find x. It's different. I was expecting it to say find z. Uh, find x when z equals 9 and y equals 2. Okay, so we have 9 for z, so we'll plug that in. 6 times x. So we don't know what x is. And then y is 2. So we have 9 equals 3x. So then dividing by 3, we get x equals 3. So the answer is x equals 3. A little bit sneaky here, right? Because initially it said z varies directly as x and inversely as y. So I just assumed it would have us find z uh, like in the previous examples. Uh, but not the case, right? Not the case. So be careful. So uh, I hope that was helpful, and I hope that made sense. That's it.